In days gone by, criminals were easier to spot. Today, modern criminals aren't as obvious. Fake invoices and spoofed emails look like the real thing. Bad actors often know our regular payment dates and amounts and may even have the right logos on their documentation or hijack and use legitimate email addresses. That's why we have to keep a close eye on new payment requests and requests to change anything about payments. This includes requests to change payee info, like address, bank, account number, or direct deposit method, requests to create a new vendor, requests to add an additional payee to a vendor bank account, and requests to make off-cycle or unusual payments, for example, via gift card or another platform. We don't take change requests via phone, text, or fax. If you get a request on the phone, we've got a script you can use to refuse it gently. When you do get a change request, follow these four steps to ensure that we always send funds to the correct parties. Step one, when you get a change request, check the original purchase order or contact info on file against the request. If anything doesn't match, escalate the matter to the Caring America's Treasury Manager with a red flag warning status. Step two, if the information matches, call the phone number you already have on file to validate the request. If your contact says the request is invalid, escalate to the America's Treasury Manager. Step three, if a request is valid, send an email to the Treasury Manager certifying compliance with steps one and two before making changes or making a payment. Step four, if you can't validate the request or amount is over $25,000, the Treasury Manager will handle the matter. Contact Security, the Treasury Manager, or the Director of Accounts Receivable and Treasury with any questions. And please refer to the Caring Invoice Fraud Prevention Policy for more information. Remember, be vigilant, validate, and report.